Nancy with Bride Face, and she's going to be a part of our event, the martinis and makeovers that we're doing on the 18th at Havana Martini Club from 5 to 8. And it's going to be all about makeovers, all about fun, and also with the new year, we always want a new look. So can you tell us a little bit about what we can do to spruce up our look? Well, I think just about everybody is always looking for something to do with their eyes. Almost everyone asks me, you know, I don't wear eye makeup because I don't know what to do, so I figure I'll just be safer to do nothing. So I just want to show you today just a quick eye for every day. Ooh. So I would start out. Mm -hmm. Let's fill in your brows just a little bit. Do you fill in your brows? Nope. Never? I don't, never. I don't know how. I'm using a blonde pencil. And you want to do little tiny strokes so it would mimic hair. Okay. That way it doesn't look too drawn on. This is actually lighter than your actual brow color. A lot of people make the mistake of matching their brow color and then it mm -hmm. ends up looking too drawn on. Mm -hmm. This way you're going to end up with just a more groomed looking brow, but not too heavy. Now what's the importance of framing the brow? Well, check out the difference. Oh wow, yeah. it really fills it in. A little bit of an eye lift, mm -hmm. just much brighter. Yeah. Hopefully you can see it on there. Yeah. Now I love, for a really quick eye, I love a cream eyeshadow. A lot of people are scared of cream eyeshadows because they're afraid they're going to crease. Mm -hmm. The trick with a cream shadow is you just want to use a little bit. Use a brush. The oils from your fingers will transfer and cause it to crease. So use a brush. Nice and sheer. I'm just going to do this all over. This is just a great everyday color. Check it out. Oh, very Stay. pretty. A little sheen, too. Stay. Just a little Stay. something. So. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pop a little color in the crease just to give you a little depth. This is a great brush. It's kind of a hoof shape. Mm -hmm. So the little point is going to go right into the socket. And you're just going to kind of windshield wiper it in there. It just gives you that nice, great depth. Mm -hmm. Oh, very pretty. Yeah. And then this is the trick that's going to change your life. <laughs> Wait for it. Okay. Wait for it. <laughs> Flat brush, dampen it. I'm gonna what take are you dampening? Paint it? liner. Water. Just water. There are line, liner sets, but I, I think water is just sufficient. This is a cake liner. It's black. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you to look down at the floor. I'm going to pick up the lash a little bit. And you're just giving it a little bit of a wiggle right there in the lash line. And what this is going to do is going to fill in the lashes, give you a lot of definition, but it doesn't look winery. Look how giant that eye looks. Oh, wow, it does. See? Very, very Big pretty. Big difference yeah. between those two eyes. Absolutely. And that's not a smoky eye. It's just a really clean, natural eye. You can mm -hmm. just run around in it. Now, yeah. if you wanted to take it smoky, very, this is very nice simple to do. Natural, everyday look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, I love creams. Creams will make your job so much faster than using powders, and they don't tend to transfer underneath. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking a cream liner, again, black. What type of brush is this? Just a little um, oh, smudgy brush. Smudgy. So it sounds like the brushes look are down. the name of the game. It's all about the brushes. You can't do much with fingers. You just can't be as precise. And again, you're just transferring all this oils into the makeup, and you know, people complain about their eye makeup not lasting. Mm -hmm. You want to keep the fingers out of there. And you can do a really subtle smoky eye. Ooh, pretty. Or you can lay your powders right into it. Maybe just take a powder right on top of your cream. Mm -hmm. This is a pewter. Does the it's cream really make the powder stay longer? Yes. It intensifies the color too because we've laid down black first. This pewter we're going to lay down is going to be a lot more intense. Very pretty. pretty. Yeah. Very nice. One eye is getting bigger already. See? I know. Yeah. You just need to wear an eye patch on that one rest of the day. <laughs> Arr. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll even you out before yeah. you leave. Great, great. Well, thank you so much. Now, so eyes are definitely big, um, you know, for the big trends. And I just read your blog when you were talking about the um, all of the vibrating eye things. And yeah. So, are you opposed? What do you What do you think about that? For people that aren't putting their mascara on properly, the vibrating mascaras are. I can see the, how they would serve a purpose because when you're putting on your mascara, you have mascara on, but I'll kind of mimic it. 
You should really be wiggling the brush down in the sorry, You should really be wiggling the brush down down a little bit in the root. Uh -huh. And then pulling it through. Now, most okay. people don't do that. Most people tend to kind of mm -hmm. throw it onto the ends and be a little lazy about it. But if you're properly doing it, actually the vibrating mascara will get a little bit get in your way. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. It's a fun gimmick. I mean, yeah. as gimmicks go, it's fun. I would recommend the vibrating mascara before I'd recommend the vibrating foundation. Oh, I didn't know they even had that. Yeah. That seems to be like... carrying it a little too far. It's a yeah. powder foundation. You take the little wand out, and then it oh vibrates my. to make it on your face. Taking it too yeah, far. Some people will buy anything. Yes. Yeah. Well, it has batteries in it, you'll buy it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, this has been really fun. The things you learn when you hang out with a makeup artist, and she is going to be at our makeup, our, our Martinis and Makeovers event on the 18th. So if you want to learn about things like this and more, Nancy will be with us on Wednesday. So we hope to see you there. Can't wait. Bye. Thank you.